Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. I know it's been intense for a lot of people. The intensity is going to pick up as we head towards the June solstice. So there's a few things I want to talk to you about. There's a couple of events this year which a lot of you know about already. Of course, there's always the solstice. But July and August, as we approach one of these final Lion's Gates, there's going to be some intensity that is going to be like child's play. You know, the things you've experienced will be like child's play compared to some of it. There's a huge push on to get people aligned and to finish a lot of the alignments. Now, this is no small thing. Uh, so you can't ignore the signs and signals from your body. Your body is a huge part of it. You have a body. Your twin flame has a body. Your twin flame is not some abstract, random energy floating around in the fifth dimension, even if people out there are telling you that. No way. Even if you've sensed it, you are lining everything up so that you are able to have a physical relationship. Now, a lot of people are feeling like they're, you know, looking and, you know, just observing things vicariously at what other people are doing. What are they doing? What are they doing? Are you in union? Are you in union? You're already connected. That's the biggest thing to remind yourself of. Everything else that is not is a foreign object and will be dispelled somehow. Now, some of that is very pretty. You're also going to have a lot of emotions coming up. So there's a lot of things that will be a part of a new beginning and endings. Many things that you're coming to the very last of, the very last karmic relationship, the very last divorce that you'll ever have the very last child you'll ever have, the very last home or move that you'll ever have, the very last of whatever it is. But getting your body ready metaphysically is absolutely top priority. That is what I teach. And there's a lot of people who would like to be in denial about it, where they say, well, you know, my twin won't care about this, my twin won't care about that. Your higher self cares about it. And yes, your twin will care about certain things. So by August, you will let go of things having to do with medical fears. What can those be? Maybe you haven't had a checkup in a while. And I hear people say things like, well, this is a spiritual thing. What does it have to do? Your spirit is only one part of who you are. Your body is a part of you. It doesn't totally define you any more than your personality totally defines you, any more than the mask you put on for the world completely defines you. You are pulling in all of your experiences from everywhere you've ever been. That's what has molded you and shaped you and defined you. And you're keeping the best of everything and throwing away the rest. That's how simple it is, except it doesn't feel simple, does it? It makes you feel like you're getting rolled around in the washing machine sometimes. Going for another spin cycle, there's more stuff to spin out of you. I know how it feels. There's something that you need to know. There's a distinction to be made between... What the mas divine masculine is. What is the masculine? Because a lot of people throw it around like, that's your next boyfriend. The divine masculine is the connection of the higher self and the both energetics of masculine that you possess, that you already do have a connection with and that you're deepening. So the divine masculine wants you to connect him or her your twin to you, wants you to use that tractor beam of your heart to be able to do this, not to text, not to phone. That doesn't happen that way. You have to be able to do it with your body, through your body. And so having a healthy body to draw in 
the part of you that is higher is absolutely imperative and it is a two-way street. You're not going to have the same codependent relationship with your twin that you may have had with other soulmates where maybe you're coddling them or you're turning a blind eye to something. Complete transparency, complete obliteration of anything that you don't want. And that's what throws people off because they're, a lot of people are fully expecting to go into their physical union and just do the same old thing. Just take over where the first wife left off or just take over where the old husband left off or just do this, that, and the other thing and just, you know, slowly grow old together and then die. You're not desperately waiting for death. You're going to have much more adventure and romance than that. Okay, even if you are completely tired. So what are sort of some of the physical symptoms of this? Extreme fatigue. Do any of you know what this is? Fatigue. Why? Where is it coming from? It's amazing how many French words are, have been used in the descriptions of these things. That always amazes me. Fatigue. Ennui. Extreme boredom. What else? Inflammations and rashes. Inflammations. Rash. Urinary tract. What else? Sleep disturbances. Your sleep is disturbed. Your appetite is wonky. What is it all about? Why this? Why, if you're healthy, why are you experiencing this? There are reasons for this. So medical fears, you have to overcome your medical fears and make sure that you're getting the proper attention that you feel you should have. Don't be like this. Don't be an ostrich. And don't ignore. I've known a lot of people who have ignored symptoms or try to attribute it to just something spiritual, only to find out they were really sick with something. Don't go there. Don't be a fool about it. Being a fool in a human way is very different than the fool in the tarot, where you're an innocent, pure child expecting the best. Of course you're that. But don't be foolish or unwise. Do not deny the wisdom of the ages that you have already gained within you. That would be foolish. And so it would be also for your twin flame. What else? All kinds of topics having to do with children. Children with issues. Children on the spectrum. Children that need medicine. Children that are having something going on. They're popping their corks on something. Children that are also releasing parts of their karmic past. I know all about it. I've lived through it. And to people who, I once had someone say, why do you talk about children? You know, there's enough suffering children in the world. Oh, yeah, there are. And guess who's going to take in some of those children? Twin flame couples. Twin flame couples will absorb a lot of the unwanted children. But those children still need someone to care for them. If you have children, there will be many topics that come up. Everything from their sexuality to their reproductive cycles, to their health. How do you do this? What are they going through? Ascension in children looks much different and is more rapid than with adults. Legal matters. What legal matters have you left unattended? Is it a divorce matter? Is it something to do with property or money? By August Letting go means resolution, not just letting it go and rolling over and playing dead. A proper resolution, proper resolution that means resolve or dissolve, dissolve the things away, okay? There's some other things that people need to know. What if you meet someone who says, oh, I love you so much, but you find out they just need a place to stay. Why? Because 
maybe you're helping them resolve their problem. They can't qualify. They have no credit or they have a background check that doesn't pass muster. What if? What if people have that? How are you getting yourself out of the old grid and into the new level? That's the thing you really need to ask yourself. Are you still here for a lot of this stuff? What if by August, how do you let go of false twins? And by false twins, I don't mean someone who's, you know, just like <laughs> twirling their mustache and out to get you. I mean the people that you might think that they are somebody and it keeps drifting away and you're trying to hang on and you don't even know what you're hanging on to. You're angry at that person. You are ticked off. You want to tell them off. You're getting treated. You're getting about a 1% return on your time investment. Are you really, really sure? Because if by August and you're not sure, okay, if you're floundering around in that level of confusion, because more and more you will get confused in this energy. This energy is very conducive to mental confusion, emotional roller coaster ride. And if you do not know how to connect your divine masculine, you need to come and see me for an energetic session or one of my webinars. I highly recommend this one or the Psyche session, but I have several sessions available on my website at TwinFlamesMerge.com. Also, if you're not sure, email me, TwinFlamesMerge at gmail.com. Men. What about you? Because a lot of this seems to be directed at females. This is a two-way street. It goes equally for men. Have you been manipulated in the past? Are you being power played? Are you having someone who is posing as one thing and doing something else? Are they manipulating you? Is there far too much mental energy thinking of strategy or something? Pay attention. Because that's not love. That's not how love is. That's not how love's supposed to be. And that's just not love. Okay? Love is very different. Love is romantic. So I will once again call BS on people out there that are saying twin flames are just a mission. They're just supposed to do this. You cannot do that without getting close to your true love and professing love. The love that is poetry and lyrics. It's like having a car that blows a flat tire and you take the little donut spare out and you put it on and you just keep driving, okay? You might be able to drive, but you have not fixed the problem. If you don't put the real thing on there, that little donut is not going to save your life when it's really critical. And those are the kind of things that I'm talking about. People who are just not able to match your vibration. I'm not talking about you don't get along for the same piece of furniture that you like. Oh, we have the same taste in colors or furniture. Or I saw a whole series of number sequences that does not make your twin flame. That does not make your twin flame. And it's being implied out there with lists and lists of stuff that people have. What are you going to do? Bring a list of numbers with you to the bedroom? Bring a stack of cards with you and be armored with everything? No, that is not what this is about. This is not a dating service. You have already a connection to you. So how do you, how do you ditch some of this stuff? How do you get this done properly with the highest and best for all people concerned and get yourself out of this ill health or emotional roller coaster? How many people like the emotional roller coaster? Okay. The roller coaster. How many people have someone around them 
who tries to pull them onto the roller coaster to ride it with them. Do you have someone in your life like that? There's always a crisis. They always need help with something. So much so that their volatility is up and down and up and down and up and down. What if that's the other side of your union? What if? Are you feeling it? Are you feeling the turbulence of the emotional roller coaster? So by August, a lot of this stuff has to be very proper. This is the information that I cover because you are leaving an entire paradigm behind. The fourth dimension is closing. We're putting closure to it. You can't go there. You can't visit there. You can't astral plane there. You won't find the same things there. You're going to find a lot of creepy thought forms is what you're going to find. And that freaks people out because people will say, oh my gosh, all the shadow stuff or th things are coming up or I saw things that just were weird. People are pushing me out the door. I feel hunted. I feel, okay, what is all that? And what can you do about it to help yourself not only let go, but help it to let go of you and your twin flame? Because remember, you, there are two people in this union. There's you and your twin flame. Your body stuff is a priority, total priority, because that's how you felt it to begin with. When you're needing to move on, that's well how you move on. And I know that there's cultures here on earth that don't teach that we move on. But those of you who have memories or a sense of it, know that deep inside you, that we move on. That this life is somewhat finite, but you are infinite. You go on. And not just as a glowing blob of gaseous stuff. No, you, you, your love together. You have a bigger heart than you may realize, but your heart isn't here to encompass everything. You cannot possibly do everything for everyone. So I'm going to say something else here. If you are a person that is very determined to help people, okay, even if you can't define it, even if you're saying, you know what, I just want to help people. Okay, you said it, but guess what happens? You're going to gear up so that you can help people and you better be getting yourself to that new level. Because if you think you're going to do it at the same old fearful levels, that is not going to fly. And you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the difference. There is a reason that I teach what I do because a number of people have to be in the presence of Many people, there's people that work at the airport, there's people that work at the offices. Lately, I've been helping a lot of people who are re-entering the workforce. And it is a challenge because you just feel different. It feels like you're taking the elevator in the opposite direction every single day. Not everyone is at the same speed and we are not doing this collectively. It is happening in a sequence, however, and that sequence has a lot to do with the deepest, furthest away damage and traumas. If you do not have a cosmic recollection of this, you may be one of the people that's in those waves. So a lot of people like to think about this in terms of waves, waves on the ocean. The waves keep coming in. You miss one, you're going to catch another one. But beyond that, you are bringing your seeds here from different star systems. You are a star seed. And there are star seeds. There are many people who have not actually had the opportunity to be everywhere. So please come and reach out. Ask me a question here. I will help you out with what guiding you to what would be most helpful or join one of my webinars. I'm going to have one on June 9th in the morning. Medical fears. Okay. This could be something as mild as maybe high cholesterol runs in your family. Or maybe you could say, Oh, Patricia, nobody runs in my family. <laughs> okay. What runs in your family? High blood pressure. 
Um, we have tendencies towards breast cancer, but I just, I can't bear to see it. But yeah, get yourself checked. Reach out to me. Let my intuitions help guide you to how would you focus this and expedite it and get the facts, which will take a lot of the fear and the guesswork out of it. Let's narrow it down. The medical part, even though we're saying medical, I mean physical, physical health, physical and emotional well-being. And yeah, the things you do not want to pass on to your children. That's a part of this whole journey. We don't do ancestral clearing so that we can pass everything on to our children. Whatever you had, you clear that ancestry, which a lot of people have. However, you may not be taking it that next step. You might be saying, like, I'm going to dodge a bullet. But you're expected to maintain this. So that is why you are coming to me to get your channels open, to learn about the body, to learn about the connection you have with each other, to put yourself completely in your own love of bubble so that you are a universe unto yourself. That is who you are intended to be, a universe unto yourself. So check out my book, um, book two, okay? The link is below. All of my books are very helpful. That one specifically has information on sleep. Sleep, getting proper sleep in the new level. So if you're like me, do you ever see commercials or see advertisements? Ooh, try this medication, try that medication. Have you ever seen anyone really elderly? And you look at and you visit and you see that they've got, they started with two medications and then it became five medications and then it's 50 medications for different things that they have going on. Why is that? Why do we want that to be our future? Medicine is a boon. In fact, everybody is very happy with some of the medicines that have come about, okay? Even if people don't, some people don't like that. Oh, you should live without medicine. Of course you want to live with minimal medicine. But if you really have an issue, you better be thankful that that's there. Be thankful to the people who developed it. Be thankful to the people that shipped it to the store. Be thankful that it's available. Because your life expectancy is usually about now 70 to 80 years for most people. People used to die from diabetes. People used to die from simple flu. So we have pushed the envelope here. How many lives do you think you had if you had a life expectancy of only 30 years, 50 years before your heart clocked out or before some injury or infection happened? That's a lot of cycling through karma. Think about it for a minute or don't think. Okay, don't overthink it. One of the things that I wanted to really also remind you of is some of you have been on this journey for a little bit. But remember an anniversary. So I had this little joke with myself because a first year anniversary is paper. Okay, paper can be a card or sketch, or something very personal. What do you give a couple that is having their millionth anniversary of getting together with each other? Because that's going to be a lot of twin flames that come together. What would you give them? How about a brand new template? Yes, a brand new template. And all you have to do is learn how to maintain it, how to get it up and running and maintain it. So come and see me, reach out for a session, have one, you will learn. Everyone walks away be, with feeling better, alleviation of stress and tension, and alleviation many times by the third day, people have reached out to me and said they feel so much better. Not only that, I provide you with some support material to help you 
and to kind of keep it going. But I have a lot of material to help all different types of things. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and check the links below. Check my website or email me twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Bye now.